I wanted to change my existing aerator to a different style. If I put the unit on top and I don't have the motor hanging down there where the water comes up over it from time to time, there's a chance it'll last a little longer. So I got the box here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see what's see what's in it. Okay. Alright. So in it is uh, this is a filter that, that I can use in the back of the tank and then it has the diffuser with the uh, tubing and the hanging float and it also has the retroair which has a uh, low pressure alarm and there's an instruction manual in here and a support number with some parts. I could saw this lid and cap off and run my hose and my wires down through there and connect it to the existing wires. I'm gonna saw that off first and then I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, while it's sitting solid, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull the unit out and do the conversion. So, all right, so I got it cut off, got the part, I'm gonna set this to the side and uh, unplug this aerator. I know the power's off because I have it cut off in, in the building at the timer. And I'm gonna set this to the side. I'm gonna stick my diffuser in there, drops down in there. It's a weighted diffuser that hangs from a float. And I'm gonna cut this thing off where there's a little bit of extra cord on there so I can make my connection to my pump. So I just take my saw and cut it to the length I want. To. I'm gonna deburr that. I don't want all that junk getting in there, so I'm gonna, okay. And then I'm gonna take the lid over here and that wire will fit right through that hole. Just like that. Kind of a tight fit. We're gonna put it through there so we can plug it in. And then I'm gonna take this end and shove it through the hole from the bottom. Okay. We got our float hanging down there where we want it. So now I'm gonna check it and see what kind of power I have here. And I have the same amount of power here as I had in the uh, home. So then we're gonna go ahead and just put this in a, a way so it doesn't rub and, and we're gonna plug it in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this, put this hose on here. It's a pretty tight fit, but that's good. And then I'm gonna tighten up this clamp. Um, it's good to use a ratchet for it and the thin clamp that comes with it because it's really good hose. It's made for under the ground, all kinds of stuff. And we'll be sure we get a good tight clamp on it. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and slither this hose down through and there we're a little plug bit it in. until we get her centered up like we like it. Okay, so now it's sitting flat on there. It's not gonna blow off. I can square it up however I want. I can mow around it. I can do whatever I want with it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on and then we're gonna go through what this does. Okay, so we have the power back on and it's running. You can hear how quiet it is and it doesn't consume a lot of energy. This is a low pressure alarm and what it does, it lets you know over time the diaphragms will weaken in the, in the pump that's in here and you can get replacements for them and replace them, but it lets you know that they're not putting out as much air as they did in the past, so it's time to rebuild them. If this thing goes off, it's not a dire emergency. It's not going back up in your house. You don't have to do it this minute. You can just silence the alarm, get the parts in and, and fix it. Currently we have it on the operate position and we're going to move it over to test. You'll hear that alarm go off and you'll see the light illuminate. In order to quiet it, you just put it to silent and that'll silent it and you know to call and get parts for it. They'll be underneath the box. There's a serial number on the bottom side of this pod and that'll have all the information for you on what you need to when you call in to order. And then you'll switch it back to operate after you replace the diaphragms. As you can see, it's doing a good job of aerating. You're getting a lot of bubbles, a lot of action, mixing action. So it's doing a really good job. This particular system has a filter in it. If you're converting a septic tank that's not baffled like this is an aerator tank, you always want to use this filter and get your riser for the back of it and a lid so you can access it. So it's just as simple as that. You push it down in there, keeps the solids from going out into your absorption field.